I'm Mr. Dark, and welcome to EVTV, Erotic Vancouver Television. Telling you everything and finding out everything we can about everything exotic and erotic in Vancouver. And tonight, we're going to the taboo Naughty But Nice show. If you want to know about things erotic, sexy, and kinky, this is going to be the place. What we have next to us is a strapping young lad who just happens to be a fireman. Yes, yes, hold it back, ladies. So, what do you think about the Taboo Show this year? I believe you're selling calendars of scantily clad, greased up, muscular guys. Yeah, yeah, it's, a, it's an awesome event here. It's uh, All the money goes to great charity. It goes to the uh, Vancouver Firefighters uh, Charitable Society, the BC Professional Firefighters Burn Fund, and the uh, CKNW Orphans Fund. So basically all the money goes to the kids. And we're just out here trying to sell as many calendars as possible, trying to raise money for a good cause. And it's a great, great venue to do it at, and there's a lot of people here, and it's, uh, it's been very, very good so far. That, that's actually awesome. I love the fact that it's going to a charity. Uh, but are all the firemen sexy? Of course, all firemen are sexy, right? <laughs> well, you know, I'm not going to say anything in front of a camera, but, <laughs> you know, no. <laughs> Just kidding. So now we are with the infamous, or infamous, Suicide Girls. Ladies, how is the Taboo Show for you this year, and what brought you here? Well, the Taboo Show in Vancouver is one of our favorite local events. We've been here several years in a row, and what brings us here are the awesome people who support erotic art and fun. You, you say your favorite town? I bet you say that to all the towns. Well, we happen to be your friendly local neighborhood suicide girls, so of course this is our favorite. Awesome. Thank you very much. Good to see you guys out. Hi, so we're speaking with Joanne from... Angelic Visions. She sells quite the line of very sultry corsets and outfits and something I've been eyeballing for the last three days, which apparently she's going to make me wear just to cause more torture. And it would be that jacket. Let me help you. They're always trying to take my clothes off. This would cut for the. This is a custom made zoot suit from Italy. It's very dapper for a hot young man. See, don't I make this shit look good? Damn, you look I must, good. I must find a way. Uh, you can email your checks to themrdark at hotmail.com and fund my Get Mr. Dark a Zoot Suit Fund. This is our fabulous Zoot Suit in white, tailored with a hot corset. Yeah, so we were, what were we doing here? Were we shooting something? Uh, Damn. We're here with Roderick. Roderick is one of the fantastic bartenders serving us out a couple of beverages. Uh, Roderick, what is your favorite part about Taboo? My favorite part are the ladies. Absolutely. That's been the most popular answer we've had throughout this show. Uh, do you second favorite? It's my tips. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. No, the ladies, the show, everyone having a good time, my absolute favorite. And so, as a city that's known as no fun city lately, this is at least a nice change? Yes, it is. Tonight is a great night in Vancouver. We got the Canucks back, and we got the Taboo show. Can you ask for more? Okay, good shot, good shot. Thanks a lot, Roderick. All right, I got five bucks. You got five bucks? I got five bucks here somewhere, right? You can turn that off for this part. Nobody has to know. We're here with Kelly, a person I know who's come to many of taboos, who is brilliantly attired in a kilt, and he's got his sporn, which is open, uh, a leash, Oops. and uh, some beautiful bracers by Richard Wozniak, I believe, and Dark Horse Armory and the sporn. Uh, 
Kelly, what do you find most enjoyable about Taboo? Um, well, it's a place where, you know, people try to keep their sexuality quiet or they try to keep their kinkiness quiet. It's a place for everybody to explore that. It's a pl My wife and I, we're a married couple, it'd be 10 years. We have five daughters, ages 21 to uh, 14. We have a grandson now, but we like to be kinky. We like to come out and be sexy. My wife likes to dress up. I like to feel comfortable. And it's a place where everybody can kind of find where their niche is. Good answer, good answer. By the way, you're now part of the uh, sub-theme we have for this episode, which is bald. Bald. Yeah, bald. bald. Yes. Uh, Daughters. Daughters. That's... I used to have long, luxurious hair. Solar panel for a sex machine? Solar panel for a sex machine. No, solar panel. Yeah, yeah. solar panel. Uh, now, what have you found that has changed this year for Taboo? I know you've been coming uh, for quite a long time. Um, it's actually, I've had a, about a two-year hiatus, my wife and I. We, I went to school, and we've been doing our own little thing. And from the two-year hiatus, it's, it's opened up more possibilities for people the 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 whole feel of it is it, it's more accepted where when i first started doing it when it first started starting out it was more of still the quiet secret people were a little embarrassed to come to it and this year i think the attendance has been amazing and people are accepting vancouver as you know, we we get it we get it compared to little amsterdam that we're called quite often so what you're saying is the no fun city isn't a hundred percent percent like true. It's now generally there's still a whole no fun thing, but at least we still have some fun you know just what? behind closed doors. You know what? Vancouver is a fun city. The Vancouver people are such uh, an accommodating and accepting community. Uh, taboo is just going to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. It's uh, the people are all walks of life. Vancouver is a, a, pish, a mix of so many different people ethnically sexually i mean we have some of the biggest pride parades in north america so the acceptance of i want to say the acceptance of people there's a word there somewhere. yeah there's a word there somewhere it, it's not so much as it's just people enjoying people i think that's what it is and everybody accepting and there's no judgment okay so one last question uh, boxers or briefs there's underwear Thanks a lot, great to talk to you. I'm uh, going this way. So, uh, you know I'm into older ladies, right? I mean, uh, you're holding it up pretty good. You know, uh, um, I, I, I don't think she's interested. She's, uh, she's giving me that fuck off creep look. Sorry. <laughs>